All right, crew, let's roll. Starting with our calves. Now we can have the opposite leg on the floor here to help us support, or you can have it up on top. Just depends on how sore you are. I'm gonna hold it off that leg for a little bit, and then just get all angles and get the whole length of your calf there. Try to find the sore spots, thing that's feeling a little tender. All right, then from here, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna do the quads. So on the quad, I wanna start right there at the hip bone. Okay, and rock back and forth. Get those hip flexors loosened up, and then we'll roll all the way down the leg. Same thing here. We're just always looking for any area that doesn't feel right, sore, crunchy, knotted up. Once you find that, focus on that area. Change the positioning of the leg there as we go. Five seconds. All right, then we're gonna go on to the IT band. So on the IT band, I'm gonna start on the front corner of my leg. So toes are gonna be tilted down. Okay, and I'm gonna work that area that is the intersection between the quad muscles and the IT band. So kind of right on that front corner. Now let's go directly on the IT band. Trying to find the stuff that hurts. Down there by the knee, a lot of times we'll find a lot of junk and adhesions. And then let's go toe up. Working that hamstring IT band connection. And let's flip it up to the hamstring. Start with your toe out to the side, working that lateral hamstring. And let's go toe up. If you need a little more pressure here, go ahead and just cross the left leg over the right. Sometimes hamstrings can be a little harder to feel. And let's go toe inside, hitting the medial hamstring there. Might find some tenderness in there. All right, let's go on to the glute. So you're gonna be on the right butt cheek, cross the right leg over the left, and we'll roll. We can have the roller horizontal and roll back and uh, up and down, or we can turn the roller vertical and we can roll side to side. Okay, find the one that works best for you and the one where you feel, feel the most. And then find the sore area. We're gonna flip it over and go inner thigh next. So when you flip it over, you take the roller parallel with you and then take your leg perpendicular at the hip and then we're gonna roll from the groin to the knee. Groin to knee. Put as much pressure on there as you can. Most times we're gonna feel the soreness about six inches up from the knee. Trying to stay up into a Kind of a plank position here, getting as much pressure on that leg as you can. All right, let's switch legs. Let's go left leg, starting with the calf. Again, to start with the toe faced out, turned out. And then just work that toe around, put as much pressure on there as you need to make sure you're getting a good kind of massage there of the muscle. All right, let's flip it over. Let's go into our quads. Starting up there by the hip bone. Rocking back and forth. And then we'll go all the way down to the knee. Lumps, bumps, pain. Find anything in there that hurts. And then focus on those areas. That's unhealthy tissue. 10 seconds. A few more rolls here on the quad. And let's go to the IT band. So we're gonna start in the front corner. So toe's gonna to be tilted down just slightly. Again, we wanna work that intersection of the quad and the IT band. Make sure that that's nice and smooth. Let's go right on the side of the leg here. Focus on the areas that hurt. And let's tilt the toe up. Nice and controlled, smooth. All right, let's go all the way over to our hamstrings now. Starting with the toe out. And let's go toe up. Central hamstring. Got three hamstring muscles back there. Working the knots out. And let's go toe in.
And let's go into our glutes. So we're on the left butt cheek, crossing the left leg over the right. Again, you can have the roller horizontal and you can roll up and down. Or you can have it vertical and you can roll side to side. Find the option that works best for you. Muscle fibers here go horizontally, so sometimes you want to go perpendicular to that. And let's flip it over, go inner thigh. So you're going to take it, again, want that leg up perpendicular with the body. Okay, and then we're up into a pup or plank position. And then we're just going to roll knee to groin. Put as much pressure on there as you can. Now if you find a spot that's sore, you can stop. And then you can just work the leg a little bit. You can just work that knot out. Get that tissue healthy. We're going to flip it over onto the back, going into our lats. All right, stead on the right side. You're going to put the roller right behind your armpit and then lean back just slightly. And then you can either roll up and down or if that's too much pressure or you find a knot, you can just kind of rock on it here. Just move around, find those sore spots and rock. Both options work. Just massage that tissue. Five seconds, we'll switch sides. All right, let's switch sides, go on the left side. Same thing right behind the armpit. Now, make sure that we're staying on the muscle here, not on the rib cage, okay? We don't want to be on the rib cage. We want to stay on that big muscle in the back. Again, we can rock back and forth or we can go up and down. Five seconds, we're going to go to T-spine extensions. All right, let's take the roller just under the shoulder blades. Okay, I'm going to keep my hips down, arms up by my head. I'm just going to extend back, hang out for a few seconds, let it open up. Come back up, scoot down a little bit so the roller goes up. Extend back over. All right, come back up. Let's do one more. Extend back over. Just kind of hang out here, let it open up. All right, now you're going to hug yourself hips up, and now we're going to roll mid-back to upper back. Now, we want to stay out of the lower back here for the most part, just working on those muscles in between the shoulder blades. Might get a few cracks here as well. Cheap chiropractor. Find those knots. Roll back and forth. All right, let's get warmed up. Starting with pull aparts. Three, two, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Nice and controlled here. We don't need to go fast on these to get warmed up. Keep those shoulders down and back. Warming up and strengthening the upper back. Doesn't need to be heavy either. Should be actually a little bit light for you. So if you're usually using a black, go with red. Red, go with an orange. Five seconds, we're going to go into dislocate, shoulder dislocate, in three, two, okay, we're just going to take it back, open up that shoulder girdle, try not to pull the band apart as I go back, okay, so the more you can keep that band close together, the bigger stretch you're going to get, nice and controlled through that tight spot, you go one arm at a time, if it's a little too tight, go a little bit more of a circle around the head, that works too. Do what works for you. Let's open up those shoulders. Three, we're going to go split squat. You can go body weight here or banded. So right leg is out front. We're going to take the band up around the shoulder if you're using a band. And then we're just going to split squat, making sure that at least 60% of the weight is on the front leg. And I want you to take a pause here at the bottom of this movement. <clears throat> so we're going to put the weight on the back knee. Pause before we come back up out of it. And nice controlled tempo here. We're not going fast. Five seconds, we're going to switch legs. Again, body weight on a lot of these movements from here on out is okay. Okay, if the band is too much for you, that is fine. Body weight works. Switching legs, split squat. Just working good technique, good pattern here, ripping that front knee out, driving through the front heel, all the way down, put the weight on the back knee as we pause there at the bottom. 
10 seconds, we're going to go into squat. You can go body weight squat, banded front squat, or overhead squat. Three, get in position. Two, so body weight squat, front banded squat here, okay, or overhead squat, taking that band up over your head. If you have the mobility, if you don't, stick with the standard squat variation. Okay, rip the knees out no matter which squat you're doing, keeping the back straight. Chest slightly up. Okay, we're going to go good morning. So we're going to take the band behind the back. Okay, right on the shoulders there. Slight bend in the knee, pushing the hips back, stretch the hamstring. Stomach, glutes, quads, tight at the top as we come up out of it. Keeping that back straight as we push the hips back. Stretch out the hamstring. A few more reps here, 10 seconds. And we're going to go into our shoulder press. Five, if you can, go behind the neck. Three, if your shoulders are tight or it's uncomfortable, go in front. So here, keeping those elbows in, punching up. Or again, if you don't have the mobility yet, that's okay. Come to the front and press it out. If that hurts, then press it forward a little bit. Okay, don't put too much pressure on the shoulder. Do what's comfortable for you. We're going to go rows. You can go seated or bent over row. In five, three. Okay, seated or bent over. Either way, you want a nice strap back, straight back, good posture. And then we're just going to squeeze those lats. Shoulders down and back. If you're in that bent over position, you should feel a little bit of a tension in the hamstring as well. If you're seated, you want to be in the same position. Only difference is your butt's on the floor instead of up in the air. Five seconds. We're going into our mountain climbers or pups. So if you can, take the band around your back. If not, that's okay too. Again, you can go pup hold here or you can hit mountain climbers, moving those legs. Goal here is we want to get the core engaged, and if we can, we want to get the heart rate up a little bit with the mountain climber action. Pick it up the speed a little bit. Ten seconds left. Try and go as fast as we can here. Pick it up. Three seconds left. Two. All right, crew, let's knock it out. Mini band box squats. Remember on the box squat here, I want to actually sit down on the box, put my weight on the box, take it off my legs. Feet are going to be just a little bit wider than hip width, toes point slightly out. Have the mini band right up above your knees. We're going to sit all the way down, take a load off, and then come back up. Again, sit down on the box, rip the knees out, and back up. Mini band goblet squat with dumbbell. So taking the dumbbell up in goblet position, hugging it with the arms, pushing the elbows forward. Now I want to make sure that I'm ripping that band apart with the knees, so pulling, trying to separate the floor, and then good squat from there. Okay, ripping those knees out, keeping the chest up, core braced. Two dumbbell mini band front squat with dumbbells. So you bring the dumbbells up, we want to uh, sandwich them together there. We want the mini band right up above the knees. Good squat position here, toes slightly out, chest up, ripping those knees against the band, push the elbows out, and we drop into our squat, keeping that chest up, heels on the floor, and knees out. Wall band straight arm pull down. So we're going to grab two bands, one from each side here, and then we're going to cross the band. So right goes to the left, left goes to right. I want to grab it on the fat part of my palm here, fat part of my palm, and then I'm going to scoot back, get into a good RDL position, nice flat back, core is locked in and tight, and then I'm just going to pull with my lat, squeezing the back of my armpit, and then nice and controlled back up. So when I pull here, I want to make sure that it's coming from this big muscle here, my lat. So again, pulling, squeezing the shoulders down and back, squeezing that back part of my armpit, so I can make sure that I'm using that lat. Kettlebell sumo deadlift. We're going to go feet wide, toes out, so slightly wider than hip. Toes are going to be flared. And then from here, we're going to push the hips back, drop the chest, right? So I'm going to load the hamstrings and the glutes, shoulders back, core is braced, and I drive up and out. Pushing the hips back, dropping the chest, driving up and out. Once I can handle the heaviest kettlebell, I'll go to two kettlebells. Arnold press. Grabbing the dumbbells, starting with the palms facing me, stomach's locked in and tight. I'm going to take them up around my glass helmet, together at the top, then nice and controlled back down. So again, up around the glass helmet, astronaut helmet, back down and together. So as I rotate, palms start facing me, palms rotate up 
and forward at the top, and then back down facing me. Okay, split squats. Now in the split squat, I want to start out here so that our legs are at about 90, 90 degrees. Okay, I'm going to drive through this front leg, up, nice and controlled back down. Single leg squat to box. So we're going to kick the one leg out, go down, sit on the box, come back up. Try and keep your chest nice and upright and try and get that opposite leg up there as high as you can. Single leg squats, you can do these on a box or you can do them for a more difficult variation, just do them straight on the floor there. So we're standing up on the box here, if we're going to use the box, we want to try and get this leg up as high as we can as we drop down into it, get as low as we can standing back up. Try to keep your chest up, you're going to do a little bit of forward lean there, try and keep the chest as upright as you can. Mini band goblet squat going in three, two, and go. So you want the mini band right above the knees. If you don't have a mini band, that's fine. Just hit a standard goblet squat. Chest up, knees out, full range of motion. Keeping those heels down, ripping the knees out as we go. Break at the knees first, then drop the hips. Keep it going here. Full range as we get tired. Try not to rest at the top. Two. Wall band, straight arm pull down. You can also go bent over rows here if you don't have the wall bands. Just going to scoop back from the wall, nice flat back, and pull. Make sure that the band is right on that fat part of your palm. And now I want you to engage the lats here, so right behind the armpit. That's where I want you to focus. Get as big stretch there in the front as you can. And then pull them right by your sides, pulling the bands to your chest. Again, if you don't have wall bands, just hit a cross band bent over or cross band seated row. Or if you have a bar to hang these on up top, like a chin up bar, you can do that as well. All right, a few more reps. Five. Mini band goblet squat going in three, two, and go. So you want the mini band right above the knees. If you don't have a mini band, that's fine. Just hit a standard goblet squat. Chest up, knees out, full range of motion. Keeping those heels down, ripping the knees out as we go. Break at the knees first, then drop the hips. Keep it going here. Full range as we get tired. Try not to rest at the top. Two. Wall band, straight arm pull down. You can also go bent over rows here if you don't have the wall bands. Just going to scoop back from the wall, nice flat back, 
and pull. Make sure that the band is right on that fat part of your palm. And now I want you to engage the lats here. So right behind the armpit, that's where I want you to focus. Get as big stretch there in the front as you can. And then pull them right by your sides, pulling the bands to your chest. Again, if you don't have wall bands, just hit a cross band bent over or cross band seated row. Or if you have a bar to hang these on up top, like a chin up bar, you can do that as well. All right, a few more reps. Five. Mini band goblet squat going in three, two, and go. So you want the mini band right above the knees. If you don't have a mini band, that's fine. Just hit a standard goblet squat. Chest up, knees out, full range of motion. Keeping those heels down, ripping the knees out as we go. Break at the knees first, then drop the hips. Keep it going here. Full range as we get tired. Try not to rest at the top. Two. Wall band, straight arm pull down. You can also go bent over rows here if you don't have the wall bands. You're just gonna scoop back from the wall, nice flat back, and pull. Make sure that the band is right on that fat part of your palm. And now I want you to engage the lats here, so right behind the armpit, that's where I want you to focus. Get as big stretch there in the front as you can. And then pull them right by your sides, pulling the bands to your chest. Again, if you don't have wall bands, just hit a cross band bent over or cross band seated row. Or if you have a bar to hang these on up top, like a chin up bar, you can do that as well. All right, a few more reps. Five. Well, sumo deadlift. Toes slightly out, push the hips down and back, rip the knees out. You want to drop your chest on this one as you push your hips back. You don't need your feet super wide, just a little bit wider than a standard. So again, pushing the hips back, dropping the chest, loading the glute and hamstring, keep the shoulders back, back straight. Pull the knees out. So 
Strong, ripping those knees out now. Stay strong here. Finish it out. Hips back, drop the chest. Arnold press, going in three, two, start with the palms facing you, punch up around that astronaut helmet, bring it back down and around. Nice controlled here, back and around. Try and keep your body pretty rigid here, try not to lean back, if you're leaning back too much, your weight's probably a little too heavy, take it down a notch. Can't get quite overhead, that's okay. You can come in front of the head a little bit if you got shoulder mobility issues. No problem there, just make sure there's no pain in the shoulder. If there's pain, go to a push-up variation. Control it down. sumo deadlift toes slightly out push the hips down and back rip the knees out you want to drop your chest on this one as you push your hips back you don't need your feet super wide just a little bit wider than a standard so again pushing the hips back dropping the chest loading the glute and hamstring keep the shoulders back back straight Pull the knees out. Strong, ripping those knees out now. Stay strong here. Finish it out. Hips back, drop the chest. Arnold press, going in three, two, start with the palms facing you, punch up around that astronaut helmet, bring it back down and around. Nice controlled here, back and around. Try and keep your body pretty rigid here, try not to lean back, if you're leaning back too much, your weight's probably a little too heavy, take it down a notch. Can't get quite overhead, that's okay. You can come in front of the head a little bit if you got shoulder mobility issues. No problem there, just make sure there's no pain in the shoulder. If there's pain, go to a push-up variation. Control it down.
Well, sumo deadlift. Toes slightly out, push the hips down and back, rip the knees out. You want to drop your chest on this one as you push your hips back. You don't need your feet super wide, just a little bit wider than a standard. So again, pushing the hips back, dropping the chest, loading the glute and hamstring, keep the shoulders back, back straight. Pull the knees out. Strong, ripping those knees out now. Stay strong here. Finish it out. Hips back, drop the chest. Arnold press, going in three, two. Start with the palms facing you. Punch up around that astronaut helmet. Bring it back down and around. Nice controlled here. Back and around. Try to keep your body pretty rigid here. Try not to lean back. If you're leaning back too much, your weight's probably a little too heavy. Take it down a notch. Can't get quite overhead, that's okay. You can come in front of the head a little bit if you got shoulder mobility issues. No problem there, just make sure there's no pain in the shoulder. If there's pain, go to a push-up variation. Control it down. Single leg squat to a box. Going in three, right leg, two, and go. So go all the way down. You want to control it down, stand back up. Control it down, stand back up. If you need help on this, you can grab a stick, broomstick, or something, and then control it down. Get the most out of it there, and then use that broomstick to come back up out. Obviously, the lower the box, the more challenging it is. Always making sure that we're ripping the knee out, okay? Pulling that knee out as we squat. A few more reps here. Nice and controlled. You can also, on the way up, put that heel down in the front to help assist. Three. Single leg squat, left leg to a box in three, two, and go. Opposite leg is up. We're going to go down, touch. I want to keep that bottom heel, so the heel of the left leg, on the floor as I come up out of it. Okay, now if I need support or assistance, two ways you can do it. You can put the heel down on the way up, pick it up on the way down. You're stronger on the way down than you are on the way up. Or you get a broomstick to help you down and up. Nice and controlled down though. Trying to use as little help on the way down as possible. Controlled down, always ripping that knee out as we go down and up. Drive through the heel.
drive up. Single leg squat to a box. Going in three, right leg, two, and go. So go all the way down. You want to control it down, stand back up. Control it down, stand back up. If you need help on this, you can grab a stick, broomstick or something, and then control it down, get the most out of it there, and then use that broomstick to come back up out. Obviously, the lower the box, the more challenging it is. Always making sure that we're ripping the knee out, okay? Pulling that knee out as we squat. A few more reps here. Nice and controlled. You can also, on the way up, put that heel down in the front to help assist. Three. Single leg squat, left leg to a box in three, two, and go. Opposite leg is up. We're going to go down, touch. I want to keep that bottom heel, so the heel of the left leg, on the floor as I come up out of it. Okay, now if I need support or assistance, two ways you can do it. You can put the heel down on the way up, pick it up on the way down. You're stronger on the way down than you are on the way up. Or you get a broomstick to help you down and up. Nice and controlled down though. Trying to use as little help on the way down as possible. Controlled down, always ripping that knee out as we go down and up. Drive through the heel, drive up. Single leg squat to a box, going in three, right leg, two, and go. So go all the way down. You want to control it down, stand back up. Control it down, stand back up. If you need help on this, you can grab a stick, broomstick or something, and then control it down, get the most out of it there, and then use that broomstick to come back up out. Obviously, the lower the box, the more challenging it is. Always making sure that we're ripping the knee out, okay? Pulling that knee out as we squat. A few more reps here. Nice and controlled. You can also, on the way up, put that heel down in the front to help assist. Three.
Single leg squat, left leg to a box in three, two, and go. Opposite leg is up. We're going to go down, touch. I want to keep that bottom heel, so the heel of the left leg, on the floor as I come up out of it. Okay, now if I need support or assistance, two ways you can do it. You can put the heel down on the way up, pick it up on the way down. You're stronger on the way down than you are on the way up. Or you get a broomstick to help you down and up. Nice and controlled down though. Trying to use as little help on the way down as possible. Control down, always ripping that knee out as we go down and up. Drive through the heel. Drive up. My crew, good job. Let's own it on three. One, two, three, own it. 